everybody, welcome back. My name is Chelsea. I'm a pelvic health physical therapist. And today's video is our last in the series of the top reasons to uh, see a pelvic physical therapist. So today we're talking about pregnancy and postpartum. So I feel like this video could go on forever um, about all the reasons that a pelvic therapist could help you with, uh, you know, recovery postpartum or just help you have a, a better pregnancy. But we'll talk about pregnancy first. So um, in pregnancy, a lot of things can pop up. So whether you are having extra back pain, um, pain in the front of your pelvis, sciatica where the pain's running down your legs, um, you know, really any types of aches and pains. Carpal tunnel in your wrist is another one that sometimes occurs. Physical therapy can absolutely help you um, alleviate some of those aches and pains. If you're not having any pain, I always recommend anyone who's pregnant come in for, um, you know, at least two prenatal physical therapy visits. So in the first visit, uh, you know, midway through your pregnancy, when you're in that second trimester, you're starting to feel a little bit better, like you have a little more energy. You Maybe you're not as sick as you were in the the first trimester um, and you're ready to do some more activity, that's a really good time to come in and really get a full assessment to see, uh, you know, if you have any strength deficits or asymmetries, um, you know, we can talk about what your current exercises are and then we can modify them as needed so you can feel safe uh, throughout your pregnancy. We can also talk about ways to uh, minimize the risk for diastasis recti or that separation of your abdomen and kind of teach you some different strategies whenever you are trying to get out of bed and do some movements throughout your day. I also recommend a prenatal physical therapy visit um, at the end of your pregnancy. So this would be maybe at your 35, 36 week mark. And that's when we can really talk about perineal massage. So getting those muscles, um, those pelvic floor muscles ready for delivery. So that has been shown to have some effect on uh, preventing tearing, especially if it's your first baby. We can also talk about birthing positions to help open your pelvis. We can go through uh, pelvic floor relaxation exercises and really just try to give you as much information on the physical side as we can about what's happening in birth and um, just how you can have a comfortable delivery. We can also give you some exercise recommendations for kind of your immediate postpartum um, you know, period before you would actually come back into our clinic postpartum but just kind of help you give some heads up or get some heads up about what to expect as far as, you know, breastfeeding pains or upper back pain and uh, just your general recovery postpartum. So I would definitely recommend if your birth provider clears you to come back in for a postpartum visit at around six weeks. Um, or whenever, you know, they clear you six to eight weeks. That way we can really get you on an exercise program to help you rehab. So, you know, obviously labor and delivery is like a marathon. Your body goes through so many changes and it's important to um, do some rehab to help treat any type of issues that you may be experiencing. So some common issues postpartum um, include urinary leakage. So incontinence, a lot of times we'll see stress incontinence or that loss of urine whenever you're sneezing or coughing or lifting the baby um, some other things you know all the all the conditions that we talked about in our previous videos so scar tissue on the perineum or c-section scars can be uncomfortable um, if you're getting any type of incontinence if you're having any pelvic pain or pain with intercourse whenever you attempt to have intercourse again there are many different reasons why you might want to come in postpartum. If you're a runner or you like to do a lot of exercise or high impact exercise, you definitely want to consult with a physical therapist prior to returning to your sport. And that's just so we can really assess you and take you through some different movements and some different testing to see if your body's ready for that impact. Um, you know, a lot of times you're cleared for exercise at six weeks, but what does that really mean? You might be able to return to some light exercise, but should you really go back into power lift or running or something that's going to be a little more strenuous on your body at six weeks postpartum. So that's something that we can really guide you through and help you transition the best way possible to avoid doing any harm to your body. If you notice any heaviness in your pelvis, we can also address that, check you um, to see if you have any like laxity in those tissues 
the vaginal walls, um, help you manage prolapse symptoms if you've been diagnosed with a prolapse, and really just help you overall try to, um, you know, regain control of your body and your core and your pelvic floor. You know, like I said before, this video could really go on and on. So um, I would really encourage you to meet with a physical therapist halfway during your pregnancy or more frequently if you need to if you're experiencing a lot of aches and pains and then uh, but you know at the minimum halfway through your pregnancy and toward the end of your pregnancy just to really prepare and you know treat your body well and then postpartum that's when you can really uh, get back to the exercise routines you like to do we can help you guide uh, guide your way through that sometimes postpartum i will see ladies on a weekly basis once they're cleared sometimes we can wait a little longer and i may see them every other week or once a month for check-in so it really just depends but that's the importance of consulting with a you know a licensed physical therapist somebody who can fully assess you and make recommendations based on um, science, evidence, and clinical, um, clinical judgment. So if you have any questions at all, if you did physical therapy whenever you were pregnant or postpartum, please uh, comment your experience down in the comment section. And also if you have any questions, as always, please comment on this video and I will try to help you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this helpful and uh, educational. Thanks.